It's just been pure luck that uh, no one's been hurt or injured uh, before. And luck certainly ran out on Tuesday morning when a young girl was hit by a car here on the corner of Philbrook Drive and Cousins Terrace. Luckily, the girl sustained non-life-threatening injuries, but it has certainly raised some concerns among residents in this neighborhood about what they feel are not enough measures to control traffic. Residents like Atul Shah, who's lived in this neighborhood for over 10 years. Shah says it is sad someone was injured, but it was not surprising. There's been cases where, you know, there have been close shaves um, and we've seen, you know, crazy driving at some points in time as well. And uh, this is before they put in that uh, little um, uh, zebra crossing and stop sign there, which has helped a bit. But I still think that uh, more needs to be done to calm uh, traffic uh, on this road. Concerns with speeding and careless driving in this area are not new. According to Councillor Rick DiLorenzo, a few weeks before this incident, he was contacted by a resident asking Town of Milton staff study the intersection to determine if changes need to be made. Residents can do this through a traffic calming policy, which DiLorenzo says isn't perfect. So the normal process is a resident applies, town says that the road's suitable, if it is, uh, the town sends them documentation and they do, a, and they do um, some type of a petition on the street. And if, if a majority on the street want it, the traffic calming will do engineering, uh, traffic calming measures on that road. Uh, unfortunately, I found out that even though we have this policy in effect, 99% of the roads don't score successfully to pass that scoring system. So I met with Andrew Sotella, the CAO, early this year, saying that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I think we need to revisit, lower the thresholds, allow more traffic calming uh, in Milton on local roads. Uh, other municipalities in the area do do this, especially around school zones. Now Halton Police agrees that traffic calming measures are great ways to remind drivers to think twice about their driving habits. Constable Ryan Anderson says traffic safety is one of their top priorities. Obviously for, you know, when we have children involved in an increased number of pedestrians, which is what we have near and uh, near schools and parks, that's a particular area we, we pay special attention to. And you see that with uh, the beginning of every school year, we do what we call safe start. And, and that's pretty much all hands on deck. All officers are surrounding our parks and our schools. Uh, but that's not something that ends, you know, two weeks after school starts. Our officers and our traffic units return to those areas throughout the school year and we do conduct, um, I would say, more concerted enforcement in our school areas. When Halton police are not conducting enforcement in your area, you can submit a traffic concern report through their website, haltonpolice.ca, and officers will be dispatched to investigate. But in the meantime, as Shaw continues to watch his street, he says something needs to be done now to prevent more pedestrians from being hurt. This is a very popular area. There's two schools, there's basketball courts, there's a splash pad, there's two parks, playgrounds. And, you know, we need to have uh, people driving at very cautious speeds. What would you like to see here? I personally would like to spe see speed bumps. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Alyssa Candelaria.